Hello, Mark Crossfield here. We've got Steve Buzzer helping out today. We're doing a few more swings. Thank you for being with us, Steve. We've got a swing sent through the iPhone, iPad, Android app. Um, this guy's hit the, bottom, uh, the button at the bottom. He sent us his swing. Let's give him some help. We've got some pretty funky club face issues going on here. Yes. And we're going to talk a little bit about how to control the issues with the help of GC2 HMT down here on the floor. Um, if he chooses to use this technique or maybe some ideas of fixing it, which uh, might introduce other, improve other things like loft and launch and distance those kind of things. Let's get stuck in. Right, Steve, swing sent through the app, as we can see here. It takes the club back, he twists it where it kind of fans more up to the sky. We see club face at the top of the back swing, pretty insane position. Yeah, what people would call open, so much more toe pointing so you put it way up, put down. It yeah, it's like way down to the ground. Um, uh, so the face pointing way off this way. Um, do it happening with the way he's using his wrist, which probably relates to his grip, which is always hard to see on these videos. Certainly watch a few grip videos. How would his grip look? If we show cameras just that way, Steve, I would say he's turned turning it more this way, right hand more that way, absolutely. So what people would call a weak grip, search that on YouTube, you'll find loads of comments and good videos. I've done some, other lots of good pros have done some. So you could check your grip reference that. Um, let's recreate this swing with the help of GC2 HMT here. We'll have one shot each. Um, and let's just show you some of the numbers we generate when we try and hit target, which he looks like he's doing. His path looks relatively straight, even though the face is so-called yep. open, people say at the top. Um, but how is he doing that? Let's show you. So if you hit one, Steve, we've got a weak grip, fan that, that's it, weaken it off. Come on. That's it, right hand bit more over. Come on, that's it. Right, try and hit target with that. Good effort. That's a good effort. So club path has gone four left. So you've gone more left than you normally would. Face was 14 open to the path, so you struggled not to deliver how you normally do, which won't work with that grip. Um, and then the loft went up to 24 degrees dynamic loft delivered, so you're adding loft. So if you face that way to show them, how, what were you trying to do in your head? If you just step back a little bit, because they might not pick the club head, that's it, put the club about here, Stephen. So put the club, that's put it, it, that's it, yeah, cool. So what we're, the what? club wants to deliver like that. That's what you feel from that grip, yeah, isn't so it? I'm trying to almost... Correct which is where that loft is coming from exactly absolutely so you're trying to flick forwards to get the face and the path to kind of zero so you hit target but you're going to sacrifice a lot loft which could sacrifice launch spin and certainly I feel, distance i feel with that sort of technique as well as i could hit target but then as a result i would lose distance i would then try to hit it harder to gain distance and okay. it can't be done yeah yeah certainly so let's me have a go then i like yes, these so ones because i often feel like i can recreate any old anything because i'm zero zero you see i always feel like i can recreate because i'm right in the middle everywhere my my numbers are usually relatively zero so let me have a go so we're going grip all turn to the left right hand right on top which is going to make me feel like the face is going to twist this way on the way back which people would call open so i would basically just say i'm turning it around that axis of the shaft as i turn it back getting the toe point way down at the ground which like steve says if i deliver normally it just feels like the ball's going to go way right, so I also am going to feel like I'm giving it this one, which is what we see a bit from this guy on his uh, swing, don't we? So let's have a go. Yeah, I mean, this <laughs> feels like it's going to go right, doesn't it? Got to really fight that grip. Oh, yeah, look, I can do this one. Look at that. <laughs> what are the numbers on that? They look not too bad to me. I mean, I hit that well. It's a club pass. 2.9 to the left. Was it minus, is it? Yeah. Yeah, so I come slightly left, 2.9. Certainly more than you usually Yeah, would. I'm normally zero. Face to path, about eight open. Yeah, so I'm still fighting that face, not the point right of the path so much. It's about six open to target. So then what we see is the loft deliver 23. So that's the consist yeah. for both of us, the loft. I mean, my shot pretty much hit target because where I struck it has compensated for the, um, the face to path numbers a little bit. But what's happened is we've both added loft. So using the technique that we see in this uh, video, the only way for you to really find target is to add loft. And if you do this, there's a good chance you're going to lose distance. So you're the kind of person who will come for a lesson and say, I want more distance. 
I Sometimes hit, I hit it a bit high. Yeah, mate, I hit it pretty straight, but... Yeah, but well, I've been trying clubs and they spin a lot. I've been on launch monitors and they spin a lot. Well, if you add that amount of loft with that amount of speed, uh, your spin loft's going to be quite big if uh, your angle of attack is anywhere near neutral. And with that speed, you're going to create high spin numbers, which could lose your distance as well. So for you, again, grip videos. Think about where your grip is. We can't quite see from the video as well. Then for me, I mean, I do it a lot with people. Try and feel on the backswing like you're actually flattening your left wrist this way. So flattening it off with your left hand, which will get the face talking, twisting a different way on the backswing, which might give you a little bit more chance of delivering. The other good drill I do for people with this one, actually, is I get them to hit balls with the face 20 degrees close. Yeah. Maybe not with a driver, I do it with an iron. So actually neutral grip, so get them to understand where the neutral grip is, but start with the face 20 degrees close and tell them they're not allowed to hit the ball left. And what they actually start doing is start learning to deliver the club much more this way rather than their natural reaction flicking forwards. And that actually makes massive difference. I think you've tried that a few. I've tried that one. People don't like it. No, yeah, they struggle with it. And but you when they to say, keep turning, yeah, yeah, keep yeah, turning. yeah, yeah. But then, yeah, you, you see, and it, it's surprisingly how quick people do change. And how good they can hit yeah. the ball like that. I've had some students, one in particular, who thought maybe he should actually start playing like yeah. that because he hit it better in the drill when he tried to, well, when he wasn't using the drill, he wasn't quite as good. Yes. Thank you, Steve. Thank Good you. stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for posting the swing. Hope that helps. Slightly different way of doing it. Numbers from GC2 there hopefully show you how we would make similar movements to you if you give us those kind of key faults at the beginning. Uh, post comments down below. Love to hear what you've got to say, and we'll speak to you all soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video. Post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.